Members, we now turn to the Veterans Support Bill. When we were last considering this bill, we were debating part one. The Honourable Phil Goff had the call and has four minutes and 45 seconds remaining. So the question is at part one, this is debate on clauses three to 24, stand part. The Honourable Phil Goff. Uh, Mr Chairman, um, I want to pick up the theme of what I was saying about the Veterans Support Bill and the fact that while Labor is strongly supporting this bill, very clearly the omissions from this bill of recommendations made by the Law Commission and supported by the Returned and Services Association weaken the bill and are penny-pinching and do no credit at all to this government in honouring the service of our veterans. Mr Chairman, yesterday I attended the funeral of one of my constituents. She was 99 and a half. She was due to turn 100 in January of next year. Her name was Audrey Stevens, and a few years back I'd attended the funeral of her husband, Ivan. Audrey and Ivan were married in 1940. Three weeks after they were married, he sailed for Europe with the 24th Battalion, and he was not to return again for more than five years. Ivan, like my father-in-law, was captured in Crete. Audrey had received the telegram. It said Ivan was missing in action, presumed killed. She had the appalling trauma of thinking that her husband, whom she had just married, had been killed, and then later was informed that he was a prisoner of war. Ivan never talked about his experiences as a prisoner of war, as so many of those people who were captured and held by the Germans for many, many years, including my father-in-law, uh, they, they simply did not want to talk about it. It was deeply traumatising. And when Ivan came back from Europe, he and Audrey were effectively strangers. Imagine marrying somebody and not seeing them for five years. It was not just the length of time that he was away, but it was the trauma that he had endured and in those days there was no counselling for our vets, no counselling at all. For the rest of his life, Ivan suffered from the conditions that he had endured at war and as a prisoner. And is there anything that can persuade this government that it is now time to be generous with our veterans rather than penny-pinching over whether or not there might be a lump sum payment available to those veterans on their death. And the Minister said to me at an earlier reading of the House, it's no good having the lump sum payment. That would be for the benefit of the families and not the veterans. I want Minister Woodhouse to contemplate what Audrey had to endure all of those years because of the service that her husband had given this country at war. The, 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 the inscription on the wall over there, right in front of me, Crete, is what it was about. That family suffered. That family sacrificed so much. And all I am asking of this minister is that he honours the recommendation of the Law Commission that was set up independently to advise first the Labour government that introduced this process and then the national government. And the Law Commission said, give these veterans, every one of them, a veteran's pension and make it on the same terms as those who are currently eligible for the veteran's pension get it. So the, the Minister has been persuaded that his first position was unsustainable, that the veteran's pension only went to those with 52 per cent disability. Why 52 per cent? Absolutely arbitrary. No justification for it. He's given the community services card. He said that the pension would not be suspended if a person is in hospital, but he's penny-pinched by saying there will be no lump sum payment on death. I asked the Minister the question in the estimates, what would it cost? Do you know what it would cost? $7.5 million this year 
dropping by about a million every year. Is that too much to ask for? This government that spends countless billions of dollars every year, we're asking for a tiny amount of money in line with what the New Zealand, the Royal New Zealand Returned and Servicemen's <laughs> Association have asked for, what the Law Commission recommended. Why will this government not honour the vets in the way that we are asking? I call uh, Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Chairman. This is um, a bill which...